Okay. Now look, you're, you're the only one. Charles you're says you're the next premier of Nebraska. Oh yeah. my god. Look, look you're, on, you're, you're on video. <laughs> I gotta ask you a question. Okay, what's up? Okay. You've always been honest. Shale gas. What what's, do I think about shale gas? What's your opinion? My the honest city? opinion about shale gas. Uh, all right. And you belong to the PC okay. party, right? Yeah. So that, that's it there. So okay, let's well, go. First of all, none of my comments can be reflected on the PC party. But um, my opinion on shale gas is um, when something starts out, it's usually not a perfect science. Um, and uh, there are probably a lot of bad examples to look at for shale gas. But as a science, it's come a long ways. Gasland's not a documentary. It's a movie made by a person who doesn't like it to begin with. Um, Should I the city pass? A law. We're not gonna have. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have it in our city anyway. Everybody says that. Why yeah. not just pass council? Because we don't have to. We don't have to. We ha in order for it to happen, we have to pass something. So okay. it's arbitrary for us to pass something for it to not happen, right? In order for them to come forward and frack in our city, they have to come and ask us for permission. They haven't done that. And if they do, we aren't going to give it to them. The mayor's been clear on it that we're not going to do oh, it. Oh yeah, so, it's been so there's there's no threat about fracking in the city of Fredericton. Now you realize this video could be used against you in six years from now, <laughs> ten years from now, when you're premier of the province. So there's so no could, way. So could lie, Charles, <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you. No. So you don't believe it's not like that. Maybe Woodside and Mark Darcy had this running for a long, long time and doesn't want to give in or to... It's, it's, it's nothing, nothing personal. It's nothing to do with personalities or anything at the no. table. It's, it's, we're a city and like you don't go to Toronto and visit an open pit mine. You don't go to Boston and visit uh, a gold mine or a zinc mine. So like, why would we expect to be any different? Right if we had a well pad in the city of Fredericton? Um, no, like we're, uh, we're, we're, still bound by the legislation that says that we need to have municipal permission, even me as a private citizen. And uh, it's the prerogative of council to allow the type of thing. And, and uh, if, if we're not going to do it, then we're not going to do it. So, so, so like, we've, invested, we've invested way too much into our well field protection. And thing. we're the green city too. Well, I mean, green city's good, but you also need jobs. Like uh, my problem, to be honest, is we've got like serious economic problems in the province. And we're saying we want paved roads, we want better health care, we want better education, but we don't have the money to pay for it. Um, um, and nobody's willing to uh, give up anything. So, uh, uh, what, where do we stop? What, 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 what sector do we stop banning? Um, uh, we saw chicken protesters. They want money for their industry. Are you trying to say there might be a chance that show gas will come? If we that, need the money that bad? That it will come to New Brunswick? Will come to Fredericton? Yeah. No. The loser's... outskirt of Fredericton? Look, we would have had way more serious conversations if the shale gas company was interested in doing shale gas within Fredericton. That's not where they want to operate. That's not. Not the woodlots. No, no. No, I mean the woodlots are protected by environmental policy, not to the extent that Mr. Darcy or some friends of the woodlot would like. But we're not going to be bulldozing uh, marshes in order to put fracking through. Any more questions, you? And you must no, be going he crazy. No, he all my questions. All right. Yep. That's all good. right.